Welcome to a new episode of the Doing These Podcast. It's your boy Deuce. And your boy Goa. And it's the gambling preview. College football, NFL, was it week uh week seven, week eight? Mm-hmm. What it do, dog? Man, you know what it is, Insure Brownly Brand We Trust. First of Brandon doing these podcasts. If you're new to the channel, man, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. I'm telling you, cause you no money to subscribe, cause you no money like the video, man. So if you new to new to our channel, you stumbled across our stumbled across our video. We get three picks each, including our best bet, college football, NFL. Last week I had a pretty solid week. I went two and three. My man Dog, he had a he had a strikeout. My man went over, went over three. I look like dang. All college football, right? All college football, all uh. All college football and basically two. Oh, we had Oregon. So this we had you had Pitt minus three when well, they, well, they won by two. Oregon, Ohio State under the 54 and a half, and Texas, Oklahoma over 40 and a half. Texas did that part. Oklahoma didn't do no scoring. Yep. On my side, I had Oregon. I took the points with Oregon plus three. I had the under Kentucky and Vanderbilt 44 and a half. And my best bet, I had Pittsburgh versus the Raiders under 36 and a half. So look, dog, you don't know. I be I, I write down all our shit. Knows I know this with a bunch of picks. What? You, you never take the points. <laughs> you took the points. You only took the points one time this season, yo. Oh, did. And that was that was that was Minnesota Vikings <laughs> plus two and a half. And that shit was the lock of the year. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I, 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 I don't like taking points. Uh, I like. I ain't gonna lie. I look at it. And I know this, this is a short sample size, but I like I've been I've been trying to keep track of all our stuff. So like, so we have a you know what what see what we strong at, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how you keep that good data point, y'all. So so it's you basically say I don't like underdogs. <laughs> or your underdog will be your be your, uh you know your best three picks. All right. But um, so here we go. We are gonna get our three. Damn, what? All right. All right. Here we go. My first my first play, um, Georgia versus Texas. I think my mic is four and a half or five. Oh, yeah, that is a big game to be right? Georgia, Texas. Georgia, Texas. Um, yeah, give me. I'm taking Georgia plus the points. Give me Georgia plus four and a half at Texas. I know Texas playing, playing, playing. They playing good ball. They, they number one team in the country. I think mm-hmm. Georgia playing with that back against the wall, though. Mm-hmm. This is almost a must win situation. This is going to be a dog yeah, fight, yeah, though. They, they can't afford to lose this. Yeah, this is going to be a dog fight. And them dudes been there before. I, I think I saw somewhere. This is the first time Georgia been an underdog to, in like mad years. Mm. You know, it's the first time they've been an underdog in mad years. Like, you figure they, they haven't lost to nobody besides, uh, I think, Alabama the last few yep. years. Which other day. But right. I th- I want to I know Texas handled my, but I, I think I think there's gonna be a dog fight, and I think I'm gonna take Georgia with the phone. I might they might win, they might win, cause mm-hmm. it, you know what I'm saying playing Georgia, Texas stepping up a weight class playing Georgia with that back against the wall. So go ahead and give me Georgia plus the phone. But when I heard it last night, it was five, but it's mm-hmm. shit going down. That means money coming in on Georgia. You know, give me Georgia four and a half. All right, me. Yeah, I'm getting out. Of, I'm leaving college here. Maybe uh, Jacksonville minus six. Versus the Pats. I'm sorry, that Pat team got Drake made. Jacksonville, they ain't going to say any better, but they stay in London again, whatever. And, yeah, I just feel like they're going to beat them. Yeah, that's a solid one, too, yo, because you got a rookie quarterback going over. First of all, this is the second start, and he got to go overseas. Yeah. The, the, uh, you know, you, you know um, the Jags already been there already. They just got to yeah. ask last week, so I'm pretty sure they will come to play. Yeah, about one they got that by a rookie quarterback. I'm right. sorry, they can't, they can't get their ass. Yeah, back. yo, they they gonna take that shit personal. Though. They ain't gonna let the they ain't gonna let a rookie quarterback. I might bet that they ain't gonna let no rookie quarterback in the second start do that with Caleb Williams did. I said this: if I'm the owner and they need some back to back rookie quarterbacks, I'm fine. Doug Peterson, he gotta <laughs> go. He gotta yeah, go. Yeah, you stay over there. You ain't getting no plane back to yeah. the states. He gotta go. He All gotta right. Go. Now my second pick is going to be. Um, Matter of fact, this might be my best bet. This is my best bet. I had a hard time fig- figuring out my best bet. This will be my best bet, man. Give me, um, maybe I must, I must say my best bet for last. My second pick is going to be the, um, give me the Ravens. Ravens versus Tampa Bay, um, over 49 and a half. I feel like it's going to be a high power. You already know the Ravens high scoring. 
Ravens gonna get that thirty plus, and I think I think that's, the Bucks gonna get that points. So I think I'm gonna go with the um, Baltimore Ravens versus um, the Bucks. And on top of that, they, the Ravens and the Bucks game been going over like crazy. Like like last five games, every game went over or some shit like that. So give me Ravens versus the Buccaneers over forty nine and a half. All right, this game that Ohio Bengals Browns. Give me Bengals minus five and a half. Deshaun Watson's horrible. That Browns team is ready to quit. They trying yeah. to motherfuckers on the trading block. You know, rumors right. about they giving about to give away players away. No Mari Cooper. I'm sorry. Yeah, give me that. I, I did look good too in this game too. But they said yeah. yo, somebody it was somewhere I heard that he Lamar. I mean not Lamar. Um, Deshaun Watson is playing worse than um, what the dude that was a bust that went to LSU. No one paid. Oh, you talk about uh, Demarcus Russell. Demarcus Russell. They say his level of play is worse than Demarcus Russell at this, this point. He probably just don't give a fuck. Yo, we got all that shit going no, on. He don't and he getting paid. He gets paid for the next two, three years. Bro. Right. Nothing you can do to him. Until you right. get to last year that day. I think he'll be playing good again. Yeah, your contract. <laughs> so you got that. Like, gotcha. and my, this is my, my best bet is Miami versus Louisville. Give me Louisville. Um, I'm taking Louisville plus the points. Louisville plus five. Give me Louisville plus five. Miami been sweeping them, sweeping them away with these wins. Squeaking. I think I think the, the luck you're only so long. Yo, them luck will keep will coming on your side, yo. Mm-hmm. I think that, I won't I won't be surprised if it could be a big upset. Upset alert at Louisville. Good side five of there, Give me Louisville plus the five, man. All right, my best That's bet. We got the Packers Texans. Give me the Packers minus two and a half at home over the Texans. That Texas team, they're cool. You know what I'm saying? But this is CJ Stroud, his, his, his play this year is kind of all right. But yeah. Jordan Love is, is, is that dude, man. So Packers are know, playing some good ball. Packers definitely have been playing some good ball. Defense has definitely been stepping up. Uh, they shut Kyler Murray ass down last week. Give me the Packers, man. Two and a half, man. I, I, I like this one. I, I get it before. I, I, you know, three is that that number that you know is the magic number. I right. get that two and a half. Give me that. Right. So here go our three picks. I'm taking Georgia plus four and a half. Mm-hmm. I'm like the Ravens versus the Buccaneers over 49 and a half. Mm-hmm. And then get my best bet is Louisville plus five. Plus five versus uh, Miami, University of Miami. Uh, Jacksonville minus six over Pats. The Bengals minus five and a half over the Browns. And Packers minus two and a half over the Texans. Give me that. Right. We about to, yo, we about to bounce back. My man about to bounce back. I'm going to bounce back. We're going to give you a win. We're going to go six and no, man. And yeah. be mad. I ain't going to lie, yo. But us, we, we've been doing these picks for like, about, about, like, like the last year or two. Mm-hmm. Yo, it'd be, I swear, it'd be mad hard to go 3-0, and no, yo. Yeah. And, it, it, and it's super duper hard for me and you to go undefeated, yo. Like I said, we do it once a year. We do once One week out of the year, we always go, we, we, we clean it, we clean it, yeah. we clean it out. No. Once a year, 6-0. and no. Like I said, I need to start betting it every week, bet out joint. And then once we hit it, I'm going I'm to make out because I'm going to make the money that I lost. Because we, right. we always go 6-0. and no. One, week. One time, but it's just yo, it'd be, it be crazy, yo. Like, you would think should be a lamb, but like, we always go either going two and one or Shit, one and two. We rarely, we, we rarely go over three. Yeah, we rarely go over three. And, you know saying, but, but most of the time, it's, it's two and one for the most part. Mm-hmm. And if you could have paid me last week, baby boy, would have been like, or maybe, maybe, maybe we might need to start doing like, like the um, round robin plays. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we definitely good on two. Most of the time, me, most of the time, me and you is good to like, you know what I'm saying? Two, two and one for, for the most part. Yeah. All right, so we're about to wrap this thing up, man. Like, share, subscribe. Peace. Peace.